We have severe weather pattern changes every single day. I mean, right now I'm wearing my wearing my, my rain slicker. See this see this nice rain slicker? Mm. Well, dear, I need something like that. You need some? Well, hey! Let me tell you about this rain slicker. Mm. And, ah, and I can even tell you. Oh no, don't think that I'm giving this to you. Oh, I thought you would. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, 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 no, this has been with me for a number of years. This, oh, yeah. this is the journey I took. Look right there. On uh, Robo's Rail. Mm -hmm. You know, I bought it from Robo's Rail because I took the journey here mm -hmm. to, 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 to Zimbabwe and, and, and Zambia, you know, like that. See, and I just throw it down like that. But you can get one. All you got to do is go to Robo's Rail and take it. Okay, admittedly, it's it's what we what I, it's what I call a booze cruise for middle-aged people, which means it costs a lot of money. Mm. But it's like what they call the Orient Express. They, 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 they advertise it as a as a um. Let me, let me think. They advertise it. Well, they advertise it as days gone by or bygone days. That's code. <laughs> it's code for when you know they had the genteel people and these like carriages and you know they they served and everything like that. Anyway, you have to look it up online. You, you, you get like that. But um, in fact, I just changed the thing. I have to change my outfit. Let me just see, cause I have to green on with that. But now you see, got a little hint of black there, yeah, so I gotta mm -hmm. change black. See, cause this my see. Everybody thinks this is one of the communist hats. Well, True enough, it's derived from that, you know, Che Guevara kind of look. But what it really is, is my Ogun colors. See, Ogun is black and green with a little bit of red. And that's what it is, and I can change. See, now I'm matching up like that, see? But I, I want to just tell you one thing. I mean, forget about Robo's Real, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. I was thinking recently, it's like, what, how African Americans, you know, us have been through the Middle Passage, I call it Middle Passage clan. You know, African Americans so much like Africans, we haven't lost anything. And get, get, give you an example. You know, aside from the religious examples, we incorporate all this, the saints, but we went with our ancient, uh, our, 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 our rituals from from African, uh, from, uh, from African religions of, 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 of old and whatever happened. But one of the things that came across, I realized when I do these commentaries, I say I say the phrase "you know" a lot. Now you have a phrase here in South Africa. It's Yebo or Yebo. It basically means yes. But the way you use it is not like yes all the time. I mean, people are saying, then they could talk, then every once in a while they say Yebo, Yebo. And it's almost like it's like a, 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 a all right or, or yeah or good. Or, or good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that. Well, I guess Yebo actually means good. Uh, but, you know, you know, it's almost like uh, in. in, uh, in I guess properized by the why, by the Omar, Captain Y, to say, you know, you feel me. So you might say, you feel me? It's like, are you with me? You know, like that. Are you running with me? Like that. So we have a phrase like that that we use and I use, which is, you know. I say, you know, all the time in between things. You know, you know, you know what I mean? You know, you know. It's just, it's a pattern. It's like, it's African. <laughs> you see? It's African. <laughs> now, but see, uh, you wouldn't know. In America, if you keep on doing that, they they'll think that you're, you know, just, you know, oh, something's wrong with your speech. You're not educated. Blah 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 blah. But there was a poet. She passed in 2000, end of 2012, I think December 2012. She passed. Went to ancestors. Uh, 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 her name is Jane Cortez. She had a bank. Jane. She had a uh, a bank called Jane Cortez and a fire spirit. They had they had an album out called uh, Unsubmissive Blues. And on that, the first cut on the cut was on the thing was a, a short little ditty, under three minutes, song called or poem, poem with music called "You Know." <laughs> and she explains, "You know," and while you say "You know," she answers, "Well, you know, you know, you know." It's a really good. I used to play it on normal radio all the time because I, see, because once you hear something like that, culture, culture, how you say, uh, uh, culture validates what you're doing, then you feel. You know, or a Stephen, you keep on going. Yeah, I'll keep on saying, you know, I'll keep on saying Yebo <laughs> because that's part of my culture. So that's what I like about Jane Cortez and, and being black and American and all the rest of that stuff. See, that's it. It's a 
truth. Mm. Anyway, this is the truth according to uh, me, you know, the arts director of murders, uh, that, that's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. 